All right, so it's the end of day two of scallop season. We didn't do too bad. Too bad. We got about three to four gallons. That's not too bad considering I haven't done this probably in about 15 years and the family has never done it. So I'm pretty proud of us today. It's a little late in the season, but uh, we didn't do too bad. So the, what we're gonna go over is how to clean a scallop. Now the first thing you wanna do is as soon as you get back from your boat, go ahead and get the scallops on ice. What this does is this helps numb the muscle and allows them to open up a little bit. So let them sit that way for about 20 minutes. Once you've done that, we're gonna take the scallop. Now think of a scallop like a campfire. The bottom is gonna be white or orangey color. That's like the fire, the ash of a campfire. So it's gonna be down low. The top of the shell is gonna be dark color, like smoke or like, like the smoke coming off a campfire. So remember that's the top. You wanna hold the scallop in your hand. And you're gonna use a spoon because it's the natural shape of the shell. You're gonna slide the spoon in and you're gonna to slide to the right. Remember, right is always right. Once you do this, it's gonna sever the muscle in the scalp and allow you to open it easily. Now, if you have a lot of scalps to clean, a shop vac will save you hours of work. You can just suck all these filters and the eyes out with a, with a shop vac in two seconds. We don't have that many scalps to do today, so we're just gonna do it by hand. We're gonna take our spoon, we're gonna clean all the, the innards out, gonna push them in this bucket here and it's gonna leave a perfect piece of meat now we're gonna use every part of these scallops we're gonna cook the meat we're gonna save the shells for the garden and we're gonna use all the innards to make some chum blocks so nothing will go to waste with these scallops all right. now if you get a stubborn scallop that doesn't want to open maybe the muscle hasn't completely numb you want to use a scallop knife but you take this you look on the side here you find that little opening and you just pry it in there and give it a little crack. Once you loosen it up, same process. Take your spoon, slide to the right because the right's always right, sever that muscle, and open it right on up. Easy as that. 